So let's talk about another reason from the feng shui perspective why you might be having some relationship problems. Now, how do you know you have problems from the perspective of feng shui? Well, the easy answer is you don't. You just know that there is a problem. Things are going uh, not smoothly. Uh, there always seems to be a problem cropping up. There's some friction. There's some always, always things not going smoothly. And um, it's highly likely that is a feng shui problem if you're going through multiple relationships whilst living in the same house. However, that being said, there is this tendency of people to attract the house that they live in. And by the way, when I say house, I mean anything that you live in. It can be an apartment, it can be a house, it can be anything. Um, uh, we, we attract the, the feng shui of the, the, um, the residence that we live in based on our own energy, right? So I've seen this time and time again. Um, the, the, the chart, the Batsu chart, the uh, Chinese astrology chart, which shows us our uh, energy makeup is actually very, very closely related to the kind of building or apartment or house that we're actually going to uh, be living in. And if someone practices feng shui and Batsu together, um, always, 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 you'll see the similarity. The problems that you see in the Batsu chart, you will see them in the feng shui chart as well. The strong points that that person has in their Batsu chart, you will see them in the feng shui part as well. However, however, and this is where the free will comes in, um, we are not determined by our astrological chart, meaning our chart is only the starting point, right? It's like, you know, this is the, imagine a chessboard, right? And this is the initial setup. How you play the board, how you play the hand that you've been dealt, if I were to be talking in terms of cards game, right? Uh, how you play your hand, how you, um, you know, how you use your free will is going to determine how much or how little you are bound by your destiny chart in, in Batsu. And this is where Feng Shui comes in. And Feng Shui can actually be the, the kind of uh, degree that you get from the universe. Yes, you've mastered that uh, chapter. Let's go on. So how does that happen? Um, it's a very interesting part because we know that um, we're going to face some challenges in our life, right? For the purpose of today's video, let's say that um, that chapter in our lives with uh, challenges is relationships. I mean, whom is it not, right? Relationships are always challenging. Um, but the kind of problems that we have in our relationships can vary dramatically, right? You can have the problem of, you know, having a breakup and a nasty divorce and arguing and all that. Or you can have the, um, the problem of, you know, what surprise should I go for, right, to surprise him or her, right? There are, there are different kinds of problems, right? Even when you choose which restaurant to, to go to, that's kind of a beautiful problem that you have. Anyway, my, my point is that as you evolve, as you learn life's lessons, as you become an improved version of yourself over and over and over and over again, right? So you, you continuously evolve. The more you evolve, the more you manifest the positive aspects in your chart. Now, what happens is that personal transformation, and this is where, for example, acupuncture comes in, personal transformation can actually be... Um, a stepping stone so that as you change your internal energy you end up attracting better feng shui opportunities right so for example maybe you're watching this video and maybe you're thinking hmm, yeah okay now I don't know I don't resonate with feng shui I don't need to really change something in my life that's fine right no change is no change right what you what are you going to have tomorrow the same as you have today you like it wonderful you don't like it not so nice, right? So if you don't like it, you better want some change and you better be able to generate it, right? 
if you watch this video and say, hmm, that's interesting, right? I think I'm ready for the next step in my life. And maybe Feng Shui can have the answer. Maybe Feng Shui can have the answer for you, right? If, if you're looking for it, Feng Shui will always be able to have the answer for you. However, if you're truly ready, if you're truly really embracing things, if you've really done some internal transformation, internal healing, maybe through psychotherapy, maybe through acupuncture, maybe through any other form of self-development tool and healing tool, then you will not resonate anymore with a feng shui that is attracting problems in your relationship. And if so, you might be using this video to say, hey, you know, I'm, this, this sounds quite interesting, right? And this will be the door for you to step through on your journey towards looking for a better feng shui. And I, ultimately, that better feng shui will be the one manifesting a different level of quality in your life, right? But it, I, I've seen this time and time again. Uh, everybody is different, right? Not everybody resonates with feng shui. And actually, even, um, even in my own personal experience, I've seen that um, I haven't actually gotten access to some information regarding feng shui until I've done some deeper personal change, usually through therapy right, my own personal therapy. So when something big shifted in myself, then something also moved on the outside and through Feng Shui, I was able to find a better way of applying it, uh, a, a better quality Feng Shui became accessible to me. And obviously applying that, um, of course, brought me the benefits of the better Feng Shui. So if you're struggling in relationships, right, it's not just Feng Shui that will help you. It's not just uh, anything that is on the outside. Yes, feng shui will be part of it, right? Because if you if you do some internal change and you don't change the feng shui, then those opportunities, those threats, those uh, challenges, those nasty frictions in your relationship um, will continue to be there, right? And the opportunities won't necessarily be easy to grasp, right? So usually feng shui is a, a trigger point. Now, some people don't necessarily go to feng shui. They, they just naturally change houses because they move. They move because, I don't know, the rent is not lo no longer available or something else becomes available. So life changes. One way or another, you will attract a better feng shui if the change in your inside is strong enough. But now that you have your this knowledge, right, um, it is much, much better to actually tailor make the feng shui for you rather than just, you know, float through to the universe and just attract whatever you attract, right? So if you're watching this information, if you really are ready for a change, then maybe this is the trigger. Maybe this is the sign, right? Anyway, so I hope you've enjoyed this and um, I'll see you in the next video. If you want to learn more about feng shui, if you learn, want to know more about the uh, concept of energy and destiny and karma and how the ancient Chinese understood the interconnection between all these, I invite you to, um, to join me in my group uh, on Facebook, which is a, um, a group which I've designed to unite people that are wanting to learn more about how we can harness the flow of energy so that we can be happier. That's the Chief Low Rebels group. That's what it's called. You have the details uh, in the description. Um, so in the meantime, let me know in the comments, you know, what you liked, what you didn't like, maybe some subjects that you might want me to, uh, to approach and to address. And I'll see you in the next video. And don't forget to like and subscribe.